Well, good morning, YouTubers, and I don't know, should I say weavers? Maybe sewers. Who knows? A couple of months ago, I did a video on the new sewing table um, that we got for the new sewing machine that we have. Uh, that table is called a Tracy's Table. It's from Tracy's Tables. Imagine that. Anyways, so I think a few of you have been wondering, when is he going to do that follow-up? Well, today is the day. So I'm going to just show you a bit more of the entire sewing room, and I'm going to show you some more close-ups of this new sewing table and a few of the other uh, features that we've put in here. My wife has kind of remodeled her, her entire sewing room um, to make it, well, number one, a little bit less cluttered because we've removed one or two of the uh, pieces of furniture and it's been completely reorganized and rearranged. And we'll show you a bunch of that stuff. So right now, you, where I'm sitting is at the sewing machine in her brand new sewing chair and the filing cabinet that was over in a different corner before but that's where she's got all her patterns and such kind of stuff and I'm not going to open up that mess because quite honestly I don't understand what's in each drawer but it is a filing cabinet full of all kinds of patterns and stuff I mean yeah we don't need to go there but that's what it is okay so let's take a look around the room from a couple other angles. Okay, I have now stepped just out the sewing room into the hallway. And let's take a look in here. So just first impression is, yes, she has many dolls. I think these are American Girl dolls. But there's also some small stuff. And there's just part of her Barbie doll collection. So let's look. First thing we did was we took this closet that was pretty empty and we added shelving. So those shelves are almost two feet deep and we have got a lot of stuff in there. Of course, can't have a Barbie doll collection without the Kens, so there they are. So I should have mentioned Back in there, there is some logic to that uh, arrangement of those new shelves. Um, I think scraps are on top, then interfacing, and I don't remember what's in the second, but the bottom two are odds and ends of various yarns. Oh, and occasionally she spins, so there's some roving that uh, is waiting to be spun. Okay, bookcase. There we go. Here's her new sewing chair. Um, ordered it from one of the sewing shops in town. Um, kind of a, it's a nice chair. If I can do this right, I don't remember how it works. Oh yeah, it even opens opens up for storage. So, and this the back is just about the right height. But let's push this out of the way and take a closer look at this um, Tracy's table. So we've got three drawers, one, two, three, and there's a little pull-out thingy here, which she uses if she's doing um, quilting and needs small pieces, she can put her small cutting board on there and we're all set. There's also, I don't know where she's hidden it, a um, ironing pad that fits on there and we bought a brand new, um, if I can get it off of here, mini um, iron with a silicon base so that it can sit here even when it's hot. So let's take a quick look at these drawers. This one's obviously the deepest. 
and it's got I don't even know what all this stuff is I know that's got some clips but anyways you can see there's a lot of interesting things in there then drawer number two um, presser feats the custom screwdriver that came with the sewing machine, the little brush for cleaning out by the bobbin, the really fancy automatic um, presser foot for doing adjustable buttonholes, some gloves for holding rulers and stuff in place, um, our labels, some more foot type stuff. These are the gadgets for holding spools of thread in place, screwdrivers. You get the idea, I think, of what's in there. Then the top drawer, scissors, pointy wooden things, seam ripper, a sample of um, a piece of tartan. One of my Inkle bands that she has used for um, an edging, I think, at one point. Some hand sewing needles, more needles for the machine, scissors, pin cushions. I don't know what those are. A uh, measuring tape. Hold that in again. There's the pull out board. Oh, I've found the ironing pad. So there's that. And that about covers this goes down on the side over there. Right there. The all our spools of thread are on these little racks that we've hung on the wall. Oh, by the way, that's her serger. And we bought these two gadgets for holding bobbins. Um, one of them is for either full or partially full bobbins. One of them is just for storage of empty bobbins. But they're kind of nice. Um, moving along. She stole the fan from out by my loom. So, additionally, this will probably be too dark to see, but we'll try. She's added some storage drawers under there, underneath. There's the foot pedal for the uh, serger. Coming over here down on the floor, there's the large foot pedal for the sewing machine. And there's the mechanism for raising and lowering the sewing machine which I don't know if I don't think I'm going to try doing it today but um, there is a um, solid white piece so that if you lowered the sewing machine you could put that in and have a really big cutting table now I got to move a few things here so we'll just Get all these pins out the way and even move my coffee very important thing to have so at this end she's got a storage bin for more yarn but this piece here folds down I'm not sure exactly how I think you pull on this guy there we go and that then folds down and back up. The same thing happens from this point coming out this way with the back of the machine, except here we've got two metal or two wooden legs that bend outwards. Let's see if I can do that with one of them. Can you see that it's moving? But I, I'd have to lift up to do it. And she's got another one of these plastic storage bins 
for things that she will use over here more likely when she's cutting stuff. And of course there is this Christmas style table runner that she just finished which is now taking up space here. And all of her rulers now have a hiding place on the wall. That's her old sewing chair um, from the old sewing machine and cabinet. Still a perfectly good chair, uh, but it doesn't roll around like the new one, and it's hard at this, and it doesn't turn. So now that she's got this arrangement here where she, she can sit at the sewing machine and simply turn to use the serger or that little pull-out board for ironing or small cutting she wanted the chair that swivels so that's what we got her was a swivel chair I've forgotten the name of that chair anyways it, it comes in multiple fabrics she chose the buttons I think that's the neatest one what else have we got here well there's some some more vertical storage and of course Barbie and her boyfriends are old enough to go to the bar so there they are some more of the Barbie collection not to mention a few other dolls up prominently on the wall for those of you who think that I'm the only one in the house who weaves this is a piece of a sample piece of weaving that she did about 10 years ago so I know she knows how to weave but I'm the one who prefers to weave and next to that we'll show you this it's a piece of counted cross stitch that my mom did oh when did she do that well in 1970 so there you go that's another interesting little tidbit but that's the table and basically I think you've now seen the entire room well we've got these two uh, dressers mostly they are filled with additional fabric for things that she wants to sew the other the, the cutting boards are stored behind the door and that's just a neat hanging she's got but we usually don't see it because usually the door is wide open so what else can I show you about this um, you've seen the sewing machine before I did that in a couple other videos we'll put this stuff back Those are a couple of um, like mug rugs that I did a few years ago. Anyways, there's that. And that, my friends, is the basic tour of the sewing room um, and the, the new arrangement, accessories, furniture, etc., etc. And of course, I'm still working on my, my second morning coffee. That's good. Okay. There is the video that I promised you a few months ago on the sewing room. And I think I've got pretty much everything covered. Okay, it's not a big room. So you can pretty, you've pretty much seen everything. But it's uh, nicely arranged now, much more sensibly arranged the the right there you can probably see how bright that is that's the uh, two windows at the front of the house and since it's morning and we're facing east that we're getting sunlight in there which is why I'm so bright on this side of my face I don't remember if I showed you I'm gonna aim this straight up at the ceiling a couple of months ago I put in all new track lights and you wouldn't believe how much brighter this room is now that those are in that that was I think I took out one old hanging lamp that had a 
I think it had a 75 or maybe a 100 watt bulb in it. These new track lamps, there's six light bulbs up there in the track. Each of them takes 10 watts, but they're uh, LED lights and they put out a horrendous amount of bright white light. And that makes this room really uh, much brighter. It's actually usable in the evening now, whereas before there was no way she could ever work when we didn't have sunlight coming in the windows. So that's a big improvement. What else can I show you? I don't think there's much. I think I've covered it all. So until the next time around on YouTube, I'll say bye-bye. And hey, if you like my channel, give me a thumbs up, please. Other than that, we'll catch you the next time around. Bye-bye.